yes yes y'all and you don't stop um that what i just said is gonna come up later on in the video you'll see so that being said welcome back to my channel um we're going back to church in this video i hope you know that so put on your best dress because we're going back to church i'm going back to cali so we're going back to church and we're going back to church with teacher krs1 when i was watching drink champs i remember noriega mentioning um to kanye we should have krs1 and you on an interview and i was like who krs1 what does krs1 have to do with anything um is it because they both 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 have a church of their own yeah because krs1 has the temple of hip-hop i mean he even has his own book the hip-hop bible so you know is it a matter of krs1 and uh, kanye and maybe even mace one day having a whole discussion you know are they the new preachers of our time i remember and i can never find the interview where kanye west said that hip-hop is the new preachers that the artists are the pastors and we are the congregation and their lyrics are the scriptures i remember hearing that from kanye i i would think Karis one to some degree probably agrees as well so anyways i was watching his very long-winded church i mean this is a real deal church this is two to three hours church so i took an 11 minute clip and i just sized it down from i mean you would have to know everything he was saying before during and after but i got an 11 minute clip clip for me and you to watch together i want to watch it again with you um and kind of get to know your thoughts what do you think of this new age church do we need it is it impactful does it make you think does it make you want to start going to the temple of hip-hop you know one of the things i always say is you know a lot of the people that fight um being a christian fight being in christianity a lot of those same people are probably going to die like a christian because the churches is the ones that take us in during that time but let's not get dark let's stay above ground and talk about the temple of hip hop shall we the priests are never captured the priests are never slaves the priests are the free masons now everybody else if you're not a free builder you are a slave builder so now you go ahead what makes you a slave your character this is what makes you the slave your own character how you view you and view the world and your brothers and sisters around and so when we learned that this was coming we went to other nations and we said take this and hide it for us until our nation wakes up again this is facts y'all i'm giving you maybe some will learn this 20 years from now i'm giving it to you now those that have ears to hear here this history you will never hear because they weren't there i was there i did the work I did the work. So I can tell you this, and it'll be backed up later. You'll see it. But here's the facts. Here's the truth. We, the African priesthood, saw it all coming. And we said, okay, Asians, we're going to send you our family over there. You hold this knowledge. That became the Tao. That became Buddhism. That became Hinduism. Remember, as old as Hinduism is, 6,000 years they claim, even older, 10,000, some say, as old as Hinduism is, supposedly the oldest religion on, in, on the earth, in the earth, you read the Upanishads, they're telling you, okay, 
in the Upanishad. They're telling you these are heard prayers. We heard this from the gods. We writing it are not the gods. <laughs> no. We heard this from the gods and we wrote it down as best we could. Now, you will see in all religions that the written text is the author always said, I heard this. I heard this. Or oh, I seen them do this. But very seldom do you get a God writing for the God, say, I am the God of this. And I'm writing to you right now. The gods did write, but their books are in the Vatican. <laughs> You're not hearing me. <laughs> The gods did write. The gods did do brilliant murals depicting exactly what you need to know. But they were confiscated. Why? Not because of theft. That was part of it. But no, the gods said, my own people, the people that come from my community don't come from my character. And so, Asian, can you take this? Greeks, can you take this? Uh, India, can you take this? All religion is one thing, the truth. And you got to ask yourself, who was the, who held the original truth? Because none of these religion, none of these books or the people in the book are the originators of what they're teaching and what's written. None of them are, none of them. They all claim with truth, we saw the gods do this. We heard the gods do that. That's what we have today. In India, it's called Sharuti, Sharuti. Look up Joseph Campbell, uh, uh, mythologist Joseph Campbell does a real work on this one about, about Sharuti, which means heard prayers, that they were hearing the prayers and they wrote them down. These are outsiders, people who without the character, they're hearing the singing of the God. A uh, yes, yes, y'all, uh, you don't stop. You keep on to the sure shot. They can't get in the jam. They're hearing it though, and they're writing down, yes, 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 yeah, Yeshua, Yeshua, yes, yes, yeah. You can't even, you just hear it. You don't know what you hear it. And you just hearing it. And so now it's yes, yes, you are, y'all. Yahweh, 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 this is the best I can do for what I'm hearing. But the gods are speaking. Those gods that were speaking had no race, no color, nothing, because the physical did not matter to them. This is about consciousness. So they went to the Greeks and they said, Greeks. In fact, you didn't have to go to the Greeks. The Greeks were already learning on Crete from these enlightened masters. Already learning on Crete. And the masters said to these, to the Greeks, yo, this is true. Opened the first mystery schools all throughout Africa and Greece. The Pythagorean theory is a joke. It's a joke. And the joke to it is, they say Pythagoras came up with the Pythagorean theory, okay? But when they show you the Pythagorean theory to see it, they, they show you a pyramid <laughs> or a triangle. Like, they, to, to prove the Pythagorean theory, they show you a pyramid. Pyramid 10,000, 20,000 years before Pythagoras. But if you just go with what they say, you just be like, yeah, Pythagorean theory. That's he did that. Yeah. 
He invented music and the notes for music, right? And the pyramid is harmon harmonically perfect. But he invented music, though, and musical notes. Okay, no problem. Who's the king? Yeah. Who, who, who wants to learn and who wants to, to emotionalize? Who wants to feel good about their history so they're willing to take lives? Who, 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 who wants to be puffed up in their history so they're willing to hear lies? Now, the king and the queen wants the truth. The Kandake wants the truth. The Negus Nagas wants the truth. Because that's what we eat. That's what we thrive on. That's what life is about, truth. So are you a slave mason or a Freemason? This is what you have to ask yourself. Go back to the Masons. So America, matter of fact, let me find my book here. I pulled out a book. America is said to have been built by Freemasons, right? Okay. You got all type of TV shows, <laughs> movies. Mace, Freemason, oh, the founding fathers. Freemasons are supposed to be the stone of America, <laughs> no, no big pun intended, but the stone of America, the capstone. Uh, the, look at the dollar. Okay, all, the, all this is Masonic symbolism. But where does Masonry come from? It comes from Africa. You look at the Egyptians, you see Masonry, you see Freemasonry all through that. You look at you, 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 you look at the constant reflection on, on Jerusalem or Heru Salon. Heru Salon, the falcon god. Heru. Egypt. That's Jerusalem. The peace of Heru. That's what we're dealing with when we say Jerusalem. But this group of enlightened beings we're also met with other enlightened beings that may have looked to us like white people, Asian people, Indian, Persian, Arab people. That's how we look today. But back in the day, none of that mattered. Your character is what mattered. Your character. There were Greeks of high consciousness and character. They're not the ones written about. Woo -hoo -hoo. Like I said, you know, I, I my perspective on church is it is evolving. We can't expect church to be what it used to be when we were kids. Ch church is changing. The conversation needs to change. It needs to be in alignment with what is going on around us. And when I saw this clip, I was like, nah, I have to I have to share it. This I thought it was so good. There were so many layers in it that he said that I felt like I wanted to expand on. But you tell me before I tell you. We can discuss in the comment section. What did you think when the gods are in the Yes, yes, y'all? <laughs> Yo, when he said that, I mean, what do you think? Before I tell you, you tell me before I tell you so you could tell me before I tell you. And we could discuss in the comment section. I'll talk to you soon. Yes, yes, y'all.